My name is Graham Walsh and welcome to I Received a Miracle from Jesus Christ. On this program, I'm interviewing people who have received miracles from Jesus Christ in different ways. Some of them are physical miracles, some are emotional healing, some are protection, some is provision. And so uh, we are recording this at the Apostolic Healing Rooms uh, Center in Santa Maria on the central coast of California. And my guest today is my good friend for, for many years now, Walt Meyer. Walt, welcome to the show today. Thanks, Graham. I'm excited to be here. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we've had many good times over the years with you and your wife, Julie. She's already been on the show once. And so uh, one, of the, one of the times when we were talking, you were telling me about how God did a miracle in your life. Walt, would you like to tell the folks that are watching today what sort of miracle you received? Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Back in 1971, I was 15 years old. I uh, basically sort of stumbled into a Jesus Movement church. It was all young people back in Albuquerque, New Mexico, the summer of 1971. And uh, late at night on a Friday night, a man prayed for me and I, I asked Jesus to take over my life. And I didn't really know what that meant. I wasn't, I didn't go to church. I didn't read my Bible. And uh, the amazing thing was the next morning after a good night's sleep, I woke up and my habit was to go get stoned to, to uh, find some marijuana and smoke it. So I got up and started to head that direction. And I realized I don't want to do that anymore. So I took my marijuana and I flushed it down the toilet. And that was the beginning of a, an amazing new life in Jesus. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm incredulous about this, folks. He received the Lord one day. He went to sleep that night and he woke up the next morning free from addiction, from drugs. Anything else, Walt, that he set you free from that night? Well, yeah, I, I, I'd like to mention uh, for about six months to a year before that night, I was partying a lot. I was playing guitar in a rock band and uh you know, I was 15, so we couldn't buy cigarettes, we couldn't buy alcohol. So we would go to stores and break into people's houses and steal the liquor or the cigarettes. And so I was using the liquor too much and uh, smoking when I could. And again, that morning that uh, the addictions were taken away from me. I, I no longer, I, I think I threw it all away and uh, no more drinking, no more smoking. No more marijuana. And I want to also mention that I used to have this sense of like a dark, heavy cloud around me. And uh, now I know that to be depression. So that as well was taken away. And I think the drugs, the drinking and the marijuana kept me depressed and made, made it worse. It sort of numbed me out, you know. And uh, as I began to walk with the Lord, I realized, wow, that depressing cloud is gone. And uh, that was another amazing benefit of following the Lord. Wow, we, we sort of had a new Jehovah that night. What happened to you was Jehovah Sneaky came upon you. He did. And Jehovah Sneaky crept up on you and delivered you. Wow, did you hear that story, folks? Overnight, the de addiction, the desire for marijuana went. Overnight, the desire for nicotine and cigarettes went. Overnight, God set him free from depression. What an incredible God we have. You know, the God that made us is the God that mends us. While you were asleep, the great physician operated on you. While you were out under the natural anesthetic of sleep, the great physician operated on you and took those things out of you. That's an incredible story, Walt. You know what I mean? And, I want to encourage those folks that are out there watching this, that God can do the same for you. He is immutable, which means he never changes. The God that set free, Walt, can set you free, whether it's from addictions or, or cocaine or whatever it is, any other sort of drug, nicotine. You, you ask, don't be afraid to ask God. This word of God says, you have not because you ask not. And so ask God, Lord, set me free set me free. So what I'd like to do today, Walt, is for you to pray and just pray that God would sneak up <laughs> on these people. Jehovah Sneaky would sneak up on them yeah. and take the uh, desires away and whatever it is. Could you do that for us, Walt? Yeah, I would love to. 
So Father God, Lord, I lift up anybody who watches this program that's suffering from any kind of drug addiction, nicotine addiction, alcoholism, depression, that you would do for them suddenly what you did for me when I was 15 years ago, 15 years old, that you would just sneak up on them, like Graham says, and just deliver them from these evil things, set them free like you did for me, Lord. And, I, and even depression, that you would remove that and give people a new life. Some of you need to accept Jesus as your Lord. You need to ask him to forgive you of your sins, which he, he will. He's our Messiah, our Savior, and he came to save us from our sins and the effects of our sins. So ask the Lord to save you and ask the Lord to heal you and deliver you, and he loves to do that. And there's a wonderful scripture in Isaiah 53. It talks about the stripes laid on his back. You know, he was whipped and scourged. By those stripes, we were healed. So he's already provided healing. We just receive it. And so it's that easy. We don't have to understand all the theology and all the this and that. So we just need to understand he loves us and he wants to heal us. He has the power to do it and I'm proof of it. And I just bless you with that. And I ask Father, you would do this and more for all that ever watch this program in Jesus' amazing name. Thank Amen. you all. What a wonderful uh, testimony you've given of the Lord. And you know, the Lord can deal with your problem. Not only that, he can deal with everyone's problem in the world altogether. It is not a problem for God. The creator of the world, the creator of the universe, the creator of mankind, it's not a problem for him. Yeah. Go, go to him and say, Lord, set me free. And say it with your heart, not just with your mind, but with your heart. Because that's, that's what God always looks upon our hearts. Because our mind will, will deceive us, but our heart will not. And so... Go and see him today. Even if you've been battling for a long time, today is a new day. Father, we just release faith into those folks that are watching today to be set free. Faith. That's a wonderful thing. Faith is an essential part of miracles. And so I encourage you today, don't give up. Don't give in to the enemy. Jesus Christ, the great physician, can operate on you and set you free. The God who made us is the God that commend us. And Jesus Christ was raised up on the cross so that we could be raised up from our sickbed. I, I have a heart for this story too because I had a problem with drinking and uh, it happened immediately with me. God took the urge away the same day. I can remember going to my liquor cabinet and pouring all the alcohol down the sink. Well, I, didn't I didn't put it down that. the toilet. Well, I put it down the sink. And the family joke was that uh, our waste disposal unit had a hangover for two weeks. <laughs> and so God can do it, folks. He's immutable. He never changes. He healed yesterday. He can heal today. And he will heal tomorrow. Go to the great physician. Call out to the healer. Claim your miracle. You have a, a divine right to walk in divine health and also in divine uh, healing when you need it. So, well, thank you for that. All you folks out there, in Jesus' name, be set free today. God bless you all. Thank you.